Got it. And happy new year. First Monday of 2022. We are University 101 uh, classes for Mailbox Power to get you going and get you started, whether you're new or you're coming in for a refresher. Okay. Uh, we are and we're recording today. So we'll let ask you to save your questions, jot them down on the side and save them to the end of the 30 minute. We're going to do a 30 minute quick overview that a trainer will do. And then um, a lot of your questions will probably be answered along the way anyway. We'll be interactive also. So um, and then there may be other people that will drop uh, jump on at the very towards the end uh, because it's always open to anyone to jump on to ask questions and get your specific questions answered. So after you've done this class today, uh, we're six days a week. You're at the same time, you're welcome to go on to any of those different trainers, different hosts, usually every week. And here comes somebody else. We might just do this intro again. <laughs> so, okay, welcome everyone, if you can hear us. Uh, we ask you to save your questions to the end, drop them down. And I'm going to introduce to you Kim, our trainer, Kim Perlstein. She is a LinkedIn trainer. She has several businesses that she runs online and from New Jersey. And she is, uh, most importantly, she's an expert with Mailbox Power. She's going to give us a quick overview and show you the high points of the, of the system. And uh, we wish all of you the best for 2022. Take it away, Kim. Thank you, Terry. Thanks for always being here to help out. I appreciate you and Happy New Year to everybody. So I'm going to share my screen and jump right into the system and uh, and you can we can get started. So hopefully everybody can see when you land in, if you've been in before, you land on the home screen here. If you're really new, you might want to start on the and click the start here button on the left hand side. But everything on the left is the menu. And then across the top, you'll see um, most pages have this purple tutorials button. This is really important because this is where you will find lots of videos and the videos are related to the page you're on. So if I'm right now, I'm on the home page and I click tutorials, it's going to just welcome me to mailbox power. That's the only video there. But if I jump over to contacts and I click tutorials, the tutorials are going to be related to the contact database, which is really great. So there's lots of videos if you ever need help um, and there's no one live to help you or the chat isn't available, then this is a great place to start. Or if you just want to get started with the tutorials, this is just a great place to be so you can learn how to use the system. Again, if you're really, really new and you haven't done anything yet, if you click start here on the left hand side, it walks you through some of the things you want to do first. I'm just going to start here on the home screen um, because everything can also be accessed on the left hand side. So I want to first point out that in the top right corner of the screen, this is the demo account. So that's not a picture of me, but you'll have a picture of yourself you can upload in. And when you click on that, it'll show you how much money you have in your wallet. That is the money you put in your account. And then when you send something or you buy something in the system, the money gets pulled out um, from that a wallet amount. It'll show you if you have the pro account, if you have two, you get 50 cards a month. And if you have the exec, you get 200 cards a month. So it shows you how many cards you have left, which is a nice way to look at what you've done so far. It also shows you when the um, renewal happens. So this one renews on February 2nd. And then if you click my profile here, you'll be able, this is where you would upload your profile photo. If you have a logo, you can upload it here. And all the information on your account is here. You can change it at any time. If you have a website that you want on your cards, you can input it here, or you can just add it to your cards as needed. And um, you can manage, if you have the executive account, you get multiple return addresses. So this is where you would manage that. I'm gonna click back on the demo. There's also order history, which is great to be able to look at because this will show you exactly what you're sending and if it's a package, if it's, a, it's, if it's more than just a card, you'll be able to track it. So let's see if I come down here and see something that was uh, $8.53 and then there's some postage here. If I click this, this was a package delivered on the 22nd, shipped on the 22nd of November and I can click the tracking number to see exactly when it arrived. So this is really valuable information to make sure your packages are getting there. Click back out, click back out. So I also want to point out that um, you can download this whole list into an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file so that you can have tracking of all your expenses for tax purposes. And um, you can also look by recipient. So if you're saying, you know, I know I sent something to 
Uh, Amy, I wonder what I sent her. You can just type someone's name here and see exactly what was sent to that person. So that's also a nice way to see what you've done. Um, back <laughs> up to, okay, so that's the account information. You can also manage your wallet here. And that's again, like the money that you put in in advance. This puts your credit card. You can see all the credits and debits here. Things are going in and out of your account and you can always change your credit card. This is also where you change your membership. Alexa, if you want to change what for... membership you have. So um, I also wanted to point out that in the bottom right corner of the screen, the blue circle with the white box, that's the chat feature. So this is great. Our, we have very responsive support through the chat and you can send a message at any time. Their hours are pretty good. They're there from Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday from eight to five. So those are great hours. They're very responsive. If you have any questions, you can always send a message here. The other thing in this area is you can search for articles. So sometimes I like to um, show this by typing the merge field. So we have merge fields in our cards and gifts. And what that is, is it's a way for the system to pull the information from a contact record. So this is a good place to find that. You can also find it when you're in a project. I'll show you where that is too. But this explains what merge fields are and this lists all the merge fields you can use in a project. So that's just showing you that there are articles available for different topics in the chat. In addition to sending a question through the chat, you can search for articles here. Okay, so now I'm going to jump over on the left to back to contacts. Contacts, obviously, if you don't have contacts in your database, you can't send anything. So the contacts are the heart of the system. Everything is mailed. You can put people's phone numbers and email addresses in, but of course, this is a mailing system. So this is where you want to enter all the information. There are multiple ways to get contacts into your database. The first is this link over here. I need your mailbox.com with this number and letter combination. Each person has a, a unique code, it's called an invitation code. Um, and if you copy this, you click your left, ah, the right mouse key and then click copy link address and then paste this into a chat message, into an email, into a Facebook post, a LinkedIn chat, whatever you wanna do. When that person fills this out, this is what it looks like, the form, you can send this link to people and they can fill this out. And when they fill this out, you get a text message that they did it. So you know exactly when someone was entered into your database. This is a great way to do it because you're not filling out the information, they are doing it. And you can also, um, I'll explain a little bit later, connect the uh, form. This is, a, I like to like make it like it's kind of like similar to a Google form, right? Where someone would enter their information, but this is even better. Um, but you can connect to this to a group. So if you um, have a group for your birthdays, uh, we're very high on celebrating birthdays here. So if you have a group for your birthdays, you can connect this directly to the birthday group. And then when someone fills out that form, they'll be directly added to your birthday group. Um, but there are other ways you can add them to groups too. I just wanted to point that out. And when you do that, so if I were to just go to birthday group here, now you see this has another number after it. So this number is associated with this birthday group. If I sent this link to someone, it would automatically, when they fill their information out, put them in the birthday group. And if you have a card and or gift associated with that birthday group, then it would trigger that seven or eight days, whatever you set it up for before their birthday. Now I'll talk about automations a little bit later, um, and that's what this is. This is would be setting up like a birthday card automation. <clears throat> but the other ways to add people to your database are to simply click create new, create a new contact and type their, their information in. That's the slowest way. <laughs> Another way is to import their information directly from an Excel spreadsheet. So import, export, and then uh, you can upload a spreadsheet from here. If you don't have an Excel template already, you can download one right here from Mailbox Power. There's a little tutorial here if you need help. And then if you, um, you would just give your group a name, choose the file from your computer and upload. Um, if you have questions when you're going through this, you could, the chat is probably the best way in real time to answer unless you're live like this on one of these calls. And then of course you can ask us questions. Okay. Um, the other way to import records into your database is to use this feature called Person Finder. So if you go to the import export menu, there's this person finder. This is available for the pro and executive members. And you can simply type someone's name and their city and state they live in, click search. And then 
if their record is here, you could just click import and it puts their information right into your database. So that's a really quick and easy way also. The other way is we have a mailing list feature. So this is a very popular, um, like Rachel mentioned, this is one of the things that really converted her to join Mailbox Power. This is a way to order a targeted list of leads is what I like to call it for your business. And now it's here under the mailing list. So it keeps it separate from your database. You can order a list of targeted leads. You can either do individuals or businesses. And so the first screen you're brought to, you know, this, there is a small fee for this. It's one time when you're buying the list, you pay the fee, and then that list gets downloaded into your mailbox power account. And you can use it as often as you like for the life of your account. Um, it's between 10 and 20 cents, depending on what you're looking for. The business lists leads cost a little bit more. I think they're the 20 cents and then the individuals are usually 10. I think there's, there's also new, the new homeowners, that one might be 20 cents. I forget the exact amounts, but it's very, very low cost considering what you get for this. So if I'm going to do um, individuals, I'll, we'll use Rachel, if you, I know that uh, you said you're in health insurance. So let's use your business as an example for this. So if I was looking for individuals, um, Probably if you're looking for your Medicare business, right? You're gonna look for a certain age range. Well, what zip code would you look in? Uh, 32533. Okay, so first we'll narrow down by zip code. Now you have to have, let's see, you have to have at least 100 records, but you don't want 12,000, that would be way too many. <laughs> so then the next thing you do is you pick the demography. You can pick all these different categories. If they're a homeowner, you can pick their income level. You can pick all of these things. There's tons of things. So since we know that you're looking for people of a certain age, we can scroll down. And I don't know if you wait till they're 65 or maybe you start a little earlier than that. Um, what there would you was choose? Something, well, there was something in here. If you look under other, it says turning 65 years old. Oh, yeah, there is a turning 65, right? So you can do that. They're turning 65. Maybe you've got to give yourself a couple months so maybe like April, May, June, let's start with that. Well, let's see how many we get. So 108, so that's, you know, that's like the perfect amount. Although what you want, it, maybe you want a little bit more than 100 records. So I'll just add one more month in there. Let's see, so 142, so that's a pretty good number to start with, 142. So what you wanna do is you wanna get all the records that you're doing. So you want it to be an amount that's enough to market to, but not like, thousands, right? Because what happens is if you do this and you only bought a hundred records and you did this again, it doesn't know which hundred records you already got. So it might give you an overlap. So it's better to buy all the records within the number here. So 142 records that are targeted leads. Now you can do some other things here if you wanted to narrow down by, you know, income level or anything like that. But for this purpose, we'll just do keep it simple. $14.13. Boy, that's a bargain for 142 records. That's a really great price, right? So you could just click the buy the list and then it would put this list within 30 minutes or less. It puts the list in your mailbox power account and then you can do whatever you like with it. So this is a great tool and you can play around with different things before you decide to buy. You can click preview. It doesn't really tell you much, but if you want to click preview, it just shows you like some some information. I think it shows you like the city and state and some part of their address. <laughs> Let's see what happens. 142 records may take a couple seconds here. There we go. So it shows you part of their address and the city they're in for these for this for that zip code. So it's just interesting to look at and decide whether or not you like it and then buy it. So that's a great example of using that feature. <clears throat> Any questions on that? I know, Rachel, you were interested in that. Okay. All right. So let's go back on the left-hand side here. I'm just going to kind of go down. So saved projects. So everything you create in Mailbox Power is a project, whether you're creating a card, a water bottle, a mug, a brownie label, everything is a project. So all of the things you do get saved under your saved projects. And once it's in here, you can copy it, you can edit it, you can share it. If you have the pro account, you can share it with another member of Mailbox Power. So that's great if you have a team or something and you wanna share a project that you've created for your business because you have a team and, and you can do that with the pro account or higher. Um, I'm gonna jump over here to the design catalog because these are all the things 
Oh, actually, no, I want to jump to the product categories first. So these are all the things that you can do in Mailbox Power. You can look for books, business tools, cards, clothing, all of these things, drinkware. Of course, I want to jump to cards because that's something you would probably do first is create a card. And so these are all the card options. You have the five by seven greeting card with a plain envelope. These are the cards that are included when you have the pro or executive account. These are the ones that are free. Um, after you use up the free ones, they're only 50 cents each, which is really a great price, you know, plus the stamp, nothing includes postage. <laughs> um, then we have a five by seven greeting card with a custom envelope. This is really cool because you can put a picture or anything on the front of the envelope, including the person's name in a different spot to attract attention. We also have a, a flat pearlized flat card with a custom envelope. We have a gigagram, which is a really nice eight by 11 greeting card. Let's see, I have one on my desk here. This is what I kind of did as an example for real estate. So this is the envelope of the card. This is a really cool. You can also, you know, put a different picture on the card. It's a really nice big card that attracts tons of attention. All four sides customizable. And uh, then down here, we have the three different size postcards with the pro account. You get the four by six for free unlimited. With the executive, you also get these medium sized postcards unlimited. After that, they're, you know, very low price. So three different size postcards. So if you're gonna you know, do something in here, you'll, you can start from scratch or it will take you to that design catalog. So let me click down here. So if you're gonna click view details and this is the card, um, you can either design your own and then it brings you basically to a, a, blank, a blank card, but I don't recommend that because you want it to be quick and easy. We want it to be quick and easy for you to create something and use mailbox power to its fullest extent. So the best way to do that is to use something that's already made for you. Now there is a small fee for a lot of the card designs, but you only pay that fee once. And I'm gonna explain that. So I'm gonna click here and click show more designs. These are the ones that they're just showing are popular right now, but show more designs. Now this brings you to that design catalog area and you can scroll by different things. So once you purchase some designs, you can see if you just wanna look at the designs you've purchased, you can click that. You can click on the recently added. It'll show you the most current ones. There are new designs being added every single day because Mailbox Power has designers. I'm one of them who like to create cards and use, you know, and put them for listing in the design catalog. And then you buy the card designs for very low price. Some are free. You see this one here, happy birthday, first name. This is a free design. You still have to add it to your account, even if it's free. So if I click this one, that's kind of funny. Another year crept up. At first, I didn't know what that was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, before you decide whether or not you want to buy it, you can actually look inside and see what it says. So you can click it, make it bigger, and just, you know, a little easier to read. It, this shows you everything that's in here. So there's a regular five by seven greeting card, a four by six postcard, and a gourmet treat. Now, anytime you see a gourmet treat label, no matter what it looks like it's on, this one's on brownies. If you don't want to send brownies, that's okay, because right now we have this amazing feature where it doesn't matter what it's showing the gourmet treat is. If you click to use this, you can pick whatever treat you want and you can still have that design. So that's a really, really great thing. If I decided I want this, I would click add to account, even though this one is free to use, you still have to add it to your account. Once you add it to your account, you'll get other options here on the right-hand side. I'm gonna go back to one that has a fee just to show you the difference. So here's a really nice happy new year card. So if I click this, and this one includes a regular five by seven card and a food label. This one has a fee of 279. And this is the executive membership. So we get 30% off on anything we're buying in the store. Um, but this fee is only paid once. So once I buy this design license that for 279, which is really inexpensive, considering that if you wanted to hire a graphic designer to create something for you, it'd be a lot more money than $2.79. So, um, and this one, like I said, has a card and matching label for food. So it's really pretty. And uh, so if I wanted that, I would click purchase a design license and the same thing as the free, it would add it to my account. Now I'm gonna show you some of the designs already purchased. So for example, here's a happy new year fireworks design. This happens to be one of mine, yay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna click that to show you the difference. Now that I own a license to the collection, this allows me to use the card as often as I like now for the life of my account. Never have to pay that initial fee again. But what happens now is you see, now I have other options over here under the actions. I have an edit or an add to cart. 
Now this particular card is just says Happy New Year on the front, but as designers, we're guided to make everything on the card as much as we can the ability to edit. So in this case, I know that my card, if you wanted to change what it said, you can because my cards are always editable on the front. But anyway, you can always like 99% of the time edit what's inside the card um, and add anything else that you want to the card. So if I wanted to just, because this card, again, this uses the merge fields. So this one is using the last name merge field. So this card is meant to send from one family to another. So this one will pull in the last name from whoever you're sending it to. And then it puts return last name is the account, is the information on the record. So your name, your last name would show up here. If you don't want that and you want this to be the first name, you could change it in the card once you buy it. But like I said, we want to make it as easy as possible. So we want to just add to the cart, pick the recipients and send. But if I wanted to edit this card, I'm gonna now show you that because I wanna show you how the editor works. It doesn't matter if you're creating a card or a water bottle, like I said, or a label for some food item, the um, interface is the same no matter what you're doing in the system. So that makes it really easy. So like I said, this one says Happy New Year here. Now say I wanted first name on here, I could move this up. Anything is move, you know, you can move around. Um, basically, I just clicked it and I grabbing it and I'm moving it with my mouse. So if I want to say Happy New Year and I want to put someone's first name, I can add another text box. When I click text, it brings me to all the options. I could change the font style, I could change the size, I could change the color if I don't like that. I can even make an outline around the words. Okay, but I want to add another text box because everything works in either text boxes or photo boxes. You can move them around anywhere on the card and add as many pictures and words as fit. So up here underneath the word preview on the top right, there's this little square with a plus in it. This is to add an empty photo box. And if you see, if I hover there, it tells you what it is. And then this one is to add an empty text box. So I want to add a text box because I want to put the, someone's name on the front of the card. So this pops up and I can use that first name merge field and maybe I put an exclamation point. Now the box, um, I need to just bring it over, extend it. It's The font is really big. So maybe I'll just bring it down a touch so that it fits better in case the person has a, lot, a name that's um, long. So anyway, that's what's gonna look like on the front. Happy new year, first name. It will pull the person's first name in. And then you navigate to the card by either clicking the word front at the bottom and navigating those three other areas or clicking the arrow and it pages through. So this is on the top of the inside. This is on the bottom of the inside and this is on the back. So if I wanted to add my like website or my email or something somewhere on the card, I could do that. Um, but this one card, like I said, is meant for uh, family, but what if I don't want it that way? Then maybe I take this out and I put first name because I put the first name on the front of the card. I can take out the word family. I can even, you know, put return first name and take out the family here. Take out the. <laughs> So then this one you could use for business too. It doesn't really matter. So you can edit all the cards this way. You want to save the card when you're done. You can preview it to make sure you like the way it looks. And you can page through to see how that is. And then if I was ready to send this, I could click add to cart. I think fireworks are good for uh, promotions too. You could change that Happy New Year to congrats on your advancement, congrats you on your new position, or right. things like that too. So yeah. that's great. It's one of the reasons I didn't put 2022 on the card because I thought, yeah, you could use it for anything. And that's why I also made the words editable because that way you don't have to use it for New Year's. You could use it for anything, like you said. So here it is. Um, Oh, it looks like there's been a bunch of things in the cart already from other trainers that are using this account. So let me just like take these out real quick. Someone used that card already. Okay, so if I wanted to send this card to multiple people, I don't have to change the quantity because I'm only sending one card to each person. What I do is I just choose more than one person. So if I click checkout, if I have a group of people that I know I wanted to send this to, so say, I don't know, say 
here's a buyer's group. Say I wanted to send everybody in my buyer's group that card, I could just click here, select all the six recipients and click check out. It'll show me how much it costs. It's taking out the $3 for all six cards because I still have free cards on my account. It's charging me the postage. So it's only charging me $3.48. I can come down here and see exactly who I'm sending it to. And what if I decide, you know what? I don't want to send one to this person. I can take them out right from this screen. And now it's sending five cards. And I can either schedule the order for a future date or place the order. I'm not going to actually do it. Um, and it tells me how much money will be left in my account after I do that. So lots of great information on here. Also, sometimes it's good to know how many days it might take to get there. Now, the mail seems to be slower these days. But I, since I live on the East Coast and the company is in Utah, it does take a little longer for things to get here. You can click this little map and shows from Salt Lake City, which is the area the company is located in, all the way to New Jersey over here, four to five business days. So. Sometimes I schedule things because the mail seems a little slower, no fault of mailbox power, just to, in general, the postal system, and especially during the holidays, you definitely want to account for some of that time. So that's how easy it is to send something um, from the catalog. Uh, I also want to talk about automations. So the automations are the way to automate <laughs> obviously, your process for sending the cards and gifts. And you can set up any automations that you want, or you can use ones that are pre-built into the system. There are some free ones available. So for example, a birthday automation, there's already one in here. I'm sure the card came from Mailbox Power, happens to be paused. Here's one, a nice to meet you on the Zoom meeting. So you can, um, the easiest way is to, to go to here, install an automation and find one that you like. Now there are right now four categories here, but it doesn't matter if you're in insurance or not, you can use the cards in the insurance category. It doesn't matter if you're in any of these areas to say, I wanna look at the real estate cards. Even though I'm not a real estate agent, I can come down here and this birthday card's nice. It's, you know, this one happens to have the, a picture of the houses. So this one is meant for real estate, but what about, this card, this nice to meet you. Yeah, it has a picture of a house up there. So these are a little more tailored to realtors. But I know that I've looked in the insurance category before. And I found like this one says, thank you for your business first name. And even though the inside of the card might be re insurance related, you can change it. So if you want to use any of these cards, what you really have to like is the front. And you would just click add to your account. And then it would install it as an automation in that section back here. So these were all free to use. So it looks like I already, I think someone installed a thank you for your business, one of the insurance cards. It leaves it paused until you're ready because it probably wants you to look at it and make sure like maybe you wanna add your photo in there. Maybe you wanna add some other information that isn't already on the card. So what you would do is you would go to click edit shipments in the automation that you install. And then you would click edit to edit the card that's in there. Scroll down here, same thing, edit the project. And then it takes you back to that interface where I was editing that New Year's card. Again, if you need any help, you know, this, there's a lot of things, really cool things you can do in this system. It can feel a little overwhelming when you're new, but we have so much support here. It's a fabulous company to be with because we have these calls, like Terry mentioned, every day at this time. And we also have the chat function and other and all those video tutorials. So this again brings you to that interface. You can uh, look at the card. You can add whatever you like in here. Now in this case, the first name and the regards are in different fonts because they're in different boxes. So if you want everything to be the same color, the same style, the same font, you put everything in one box. But I like the way this one's done because Sometimes you want your signature to be looking like a signature. Now, if you have your signature as an image, you can also bring that in as an image and make that your signature. So there's lots of things you can do. Um, just ask if you're not sure. So uh, this, is, this is brings the return company. So if you have your company name on your account, it will put that here. I know when I'm doing my own card, I like to actually replace this with what I want. 
because I have multiple companies, like I have Mailbox Power and I have my other business. And it's like, depending on what I'm doing, I might want to just type in the words. So you can just overwrite any of the text here. You can change the message if you want to tweak it a little bit. Like right now, there's no, there's no punctuation after thank you. That stuff drives me nuts. I would probably put a punctuation mark there, you know. So like little things, you can make it your own. Um, but at least you have a place to start. And if you like what it says, it's easy to just send it as is. So I'm going to click save. And then you always have to go return to saved projects brings, brings you back to the main page where all the projects are. In this case, because I'm in a campaign, I'm in an automation. I have like another window open. So I'm just going to move this and close that window. Bring me back to here. So the automations are great. And you can set up an automation for anything. We have the birthday campaigns. We have you know, if you want to do a nice to meet you, you're at a networking event, even if it's an online one, and then you want people to fill out your form. And you, if you just add them to the group that's associated with that automation, it will send the item for you. So you don't even have to do the work. So as an example, this one here is a nice to meet you automation. And if I click the manage recipients, you see how here there's a group enrolled here. Nice to meet you, Zoom meeting shared. Okay, so this group is associated with this automation. And if I go back, like um, this is explaining a little bit more in detail how to use this, I need your mailbox. So if I go here and find the nice to meet you group, let's see, I don't know which one, it, I think it's probably this, let's see. It's, it must be this one. And if I clicked this link and shared this with people, then it would trigger that card to go out automatically, the card that's associated with that automation. So this is a great way to save yourself time because you can have things going out automatically. As an example, I went to an in-person event actually, but I think it was back in October and I had people fill out my form and it sent them the nice to meet you at the networking event card. I didn't have to do anything. If they filled out the form, it just went out the next business day. Everything gets shipped the next business day. Obviously, with the holidays, like I said, things are taking a little slower. But now that the big holidays are over, things hopefully will get back on track. Um, I find that a package gets there sooner. So if I really want someone to get something, and of course, if I want to wow them a little more, I might send a cookie or brownies or something. You know, It doesn't cost a lot to send a small gift. Um, we have a lot of really amazing gifts. If you haven't checked out the gift cat catalog, I would definitely say do that. And uh, that's, you know, a very brief overview. I did want to mention because uh, Rachel was on a little early and she mentioned she's an insurance agent, that there are three, um, three master classes that are free if you have the pro or executive account, and they're found in Mailbox University. Now, even if you're not a real estate agent or an insurance agent, you can go ahead and look at these courses and learn. Learn what they, you know, anything, trick, tips, tricks about marketing your business. You'll probably get some good information whether you're in real estate or insurance or not. And then there's this one birthday away challenge. And this is also a course which basically teaches you how to use birthday marketing to grow your business. So this is a good place to start. It's really quick. It doesn't take that long. And you also get some bonus, some free cards when you go here and you can download the free cards into your account. So that's also another reason to visit all of the uh, university, Mailbox University things. You can get free cards from each of these. So I think that's the last thing I wanted to mention. Um, I know I covered a lot and I went really fast, but we want to at least give you a high level overview and then open it up for questions. So now's the time. <laughs> Kim, could you show sure. where it is on the account if someone wants to change and make a business address show up versus their regular default? Oh, yeah. Because sure. only That's the exec on, it, am I correct? On, only the executive account gets to put yes. multiple addresses on a, on a contact and have multiple addresses for your returns. Your yes. Returner. So if you go to your account in the top right corner and you click my profile, there's a manage return addresses here. If you have the executive account, you can add multiple addresses. So you can add a new return address. And then I think it's when you go to check out is where you change the who, you know, where it's coming from. So let me see. Um, let me go back to the cart because I still have that card in here. Let's see what 
where that is. Um, let's see. Pretend I'm going to send it to this person. And then Cindy has a question after this. Okay. You see over here, it says return address. It shows me where it's coming from. So I think if I click here, wait a minute, what is it? I can't read what it says. It's weird. Hold on, let me move this. Yeah, when you click that, it gives you the, the drop okay. down. Okay, it says manage return addresses. Yeah. And so I can pick which one I want, the default. Click the, click the arrow, yeah. Yeah, so this is the, this is the demo account, like I said, so it would, it'll put that there. So this is where you change it. And when you're in the cart, this is where you would change the return address. It's kind of, yeah, it's, I don't know why it gets cut off. When, it, when you click this, you have to- Mine did too. Click that, yeah. So that's where you do it. And what was the other question? Sorry. <laughs> Cindy has a question. Uh, Cindy, go ahead. You wanna... Yeah, I'm doing a bridal expo this weekend and I would love to be able to, I'm, I'm new to this, but I'm at the executive level. So how would I create a link to get these brides to register and then I can create a card to go out to them? Yes, that's a great idea. Yeah. Great question. So what you would do first is you go to your contacts create a group for that. So you want to create a new group and okay. you want to call it like, you know, bridal expo. We'll, we'll pretend we're doing it here. Bridal expo. Okay, so you create that group in here. And when you have a group like this, you can actually change the message that comes in that form, which I um, likened to a Google form, but you're, I need your mailbox. You see this, this form here, this yep. is what you're going to send people to. So yes. um, it's the invitation code from your account and then the group associated with that. This 101282 is the group. So, but what you, what you can do when you have your own group is you can go to the group settings and change this message. So you can say, you know, it was nice to meet you at the bridal salon or bridal expo, whatever you said, bridal expo. Please fill out your contact info so we can stay in touch or something like that. You know, please provide your contact information, whatever. And you can um, you can decide like you don't need their spouse. I mean, you, you don't you can decide you don't need their email address or whatever if you're just trying, you know, because this is a mail. I do system. real estate, so I'll take it all. And they'll even leave yeah. the spouse in there because if they then I can then I can have that. So when they do get married, I'll have that as an extra. Oh, there you go. So I'm just saying that if you wanted to, nice. you could take some of these fields off. Now, um, even if this is here, it's not required. It's the only thing that's required is their name and mailing address. That's why that's great out and you can't change okay. that. Even if you ask Perfect. for a spouse, they don't have to fill it out. So yeah, yeah and that's fine. Yeah. And that's then if fine. you click update settings, so now it's a little more tailored to the form is a little more tailored to what you're doing. It was nice to meet you so that they, when they see that, if they do it, especially if they don't do it when you're there, <laughs> yeah, um, you do try to, you do want to try to get it, get them to well, do it while they're I'm, there. I'm, ha I'm having a spinning wheel to where they can win gift cards and they have perfect. to enter, they have to enter that form in order to qualify to enter the gift card. That's a perfect way to do it. And you can create a QR code if that's another way to do it with this link. I don't know if you know how to do that or not, but that's what I've done at vendor shows, created yep. a QR code so they could just scan the code. And then, okay. um, you know, even if you just put it on a piece of paper in one of those photo holder things. Perfect. Then... Perfect. Yeah. My girls and I were brainstorming with that yesterday and, and QR code is the easy way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's a great way to do it. So then what you do is you would go to your automations. So now you have your group set up. Now you would create a new automation. Now you have to have the card ready that you want. Yeah, I, I've got yeah, I've got a couple of days to make that happen. It, this is why okay. I'm here today to, to work on what I got to get done this week before before Saturday. <laughs> okay, so say okay. like okay. I don't know if there's any nice to meet you cards in here. Let's look. But Kim, show how on the link that they can uh, they can personalize. There was a question in chat. Can you personalize the note? Show them how to personalize the link. So that when they click on that, it'll say, hey, welcome to, so glad yeah, you attended the bridal. Oh, okay, no, I just did that, you. yeah. All right. Well, so it said, it, I'm talking about how to personalize, how do you actually put their, can you put their name on? So like John, it was so nice to meet you. 
Karen. I don't, oh, you know oh, what? I don't think you yeah. can do that because it's the form. You can oh. do that on the card. <laughs> Okay. Only on, the, on card. the form that's collecting the information because everybody okay. scans the same scan. Everybody goes to the same link. So you don't know their na first name when they're filling that out. <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> <There>. <laughs> so, so, but you could do that on the card. Like here's a nice to meet you diamond card. I don't know. All right, okay. let's click, let's make a copy. So here, I'm going to show you how you can copy things. So if you have a project already created and you already have your branding on the back and all that stuff, you don't want to recreate that. So you just want to copy a card that you already did. So when you click options, you can either edit the card. We have this thing to verify the merge fields. You can duplicate, copy the card. You can rename it. You want to make sure you name them things that you're going to remember. So I'm going to just, in this case, duplicate this card. Let's go come on. Okay, so here's yeah, a copy of the copy of the copy. way to build my database for real estate. <laughs> what did you say? I said I'm in a new real new market for real estate. I have no book of business, so this is what I'm oh, doing. <laughs> so this is perfect. So so you can pretend this is the bridal expo card, and you can say nice to meet you, and then you can make the changes. Right, do whatever you need to do to the card. I don't know what this says on the front. Besides, nice to meet you. It's like really little. Hold on. No, oh, the first name is really teeny. I wouldn't do that. I would put like the first name like big up here. Yep. Can't. Okay, this, let's move that to the middle. So even though this, I don't know if someone actually did this or if this was in the, so in this case, it's left justified. I, if I'm going to center it, I'm going to center everything. Maybe I pick the font that's big and bold like the, and that's too way too small. I'm going to make the name bigger yeah it's got to be 10 or higher because i can't read it if it's not <laughs> yeah so you know i would maybe do this i would this is an image so um you can't you can move it but you can't change the words but that's fine but could you take the image out you could and take it off in if you wanted to could i what could you take the image out and put your own words in yes, there you could do that so here i'll take the image out and type first name Comma. That way all the it font is matching. Was nice to meet you. Yes. You know, and you can say at the bridal expo. Or just, you know what, let's keep it simple on the front. It was, uh, let's mm -hmm. just, because you want to say it in the card, you don't want to say it 12 times. Nice to meet right. you. Or have a, you can even have a picture background. If you have a, take a, yeah. uh, when you're there, take a portrait picture of something cool at the bridal expo. And that could be your background on the front yeah, page of that. That's a great yeah. idea. Good. Thank you. Yeah. I love Instead stuff. of a boring yellow cover, right? Yeah. You can put in a picture of something. Yeah. Like I could take a picture of my backdrop so that they can put, to, put it, what they saw at the thing and then their memory. Perfect. So anyway, this is just a, uh, you know, whatever was in the card before. It was nice to meet you at the uh, typing desk bridal. Expo. You know, I look forward to staying in touch or something. In this case, they have the, as you can see, you can turn <laughs> and yep. tilt the any of the wording. This one is like a signature tilted. And then the back has all the information, woo, everything. So save that. Go back to the automations. Or your own logo, if you have one. Yeah, you could put any pictures, like we said, and anything on there. So then you would go back to your automations and you would go to the, nice, where was it? Oh, I, I didn't think it was the at the top. Yet. It was the group, sorry. So create an automation. <laughs> I would call it, you know, bridal expo follow up or something. And the date. And the date, yep. say it was January, right? You might do another one next year. Yeah, so then you could leave it as a drip campaign in case whenever create new automation, it'll walk you through the steps. So you have to add the shipment is the card. So right. that's the only thing that's kind of not intuitive and you have to call it something. You could just call it card one <laughs> and you want it to go right away. So immediate is zero days, it goes immediately. Then you click the add the saved project and you find your bridal expo card and you click add and then you click save shipment. 
And now it's paused, so you'll want to um, you know, activate it. But first, you want to manage the recipients and add that group that we created first. The Bridal Expo group, you want to enroll the group. So now anytime someone gets added to that group, it will trigger the card to go out as long as you have it activated. Right now it's still nice. paused. And I could do like a once a month follow-up or whatever, so that like in a month I could, you know, have some sort of drip thing associated with that same group. Yes. So you could actually put that as part of here. And that's why we called this card one. So if you wanted to add a second touch point, you would add another project. You would add another project. So I don't know. Let's pretend we have. We're going to add this brownie or something and a card probably too because you know you don't want to do uh wait actually this is in the same shipment hold on a second we have to um go back hold on that would be in the automated that i would add the brownie or whatever next yeah in the automation because i made it a drip campaign you would have to add you can add a second touch point of course now i can't where did i put it yeah, so you could add as many touch points as you want in the drip campaign because the drip okay. campaign is meant to be multiple touch points if you want it to be. If the Perfect. birthday is the same birthday every year, it repeats the same card and you just have to remember to change the card at the beginning of the following year. You don't have to continue to add, you know, you don't have to redo. If you've, you set up a birthday automation, it goes out seven or eight days before the person's birthday, year upon year upon year until you take them off the birthday. Oh, let me show you that part. So if you have your contacts in here and you wanna add somebody to a group. So say I have, um, I, I know that I didn't add Julie if her birth, let's pretend, let's put her birthday in here. Okay, so she, her birthday is not in here. So I'm gonna pretend that, oh wait, her. Let's see, I think actually, yeah. So all you have to do to add somebody to an automation is uh, go to their contact record, go to the groups at the top and click the box that says automation. And see, these are already um, active. This group is enrolled in the automation, Wait, this isn't an automation. So what you would have to do is if you wanted the birthday card automation, you would click this. I don't think the act the automations are active because this is the demo account. <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, that's all you have to do to add somebody to a birthday uh, is add them to the group associated with that automation, and then they'll automatically get the card. Good. Okay. Any what other questions? Does is there an AI that pulls into this? So if I'm getting. Um, seller leads from a specific uh, group, it pulls into my CRM and then I'd like to be able to, for it to go into here. Is there any automation for that or is it kind you of- You can just... do that. We do have integrations with certain systems. Um, everything, I'm not an expert on the automation. So that would be a question you probably want to ask in the chat if you need okay. help with that. But there are definitely tools and Zapier integrates with Mailbox Power. So according to our automation expert in the company, he said that pretty much anything you can do, you just have to set up Zapier. Yeah, there's. I know my CRM communicates with Zapier. I just haven't okay. mastered Zapier. That 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 one's confusing <laughs> the crap out of me. Right. So I know yeah. like Salesforce and some of the other ones may not need Zapier, but if you have everything integrates with Zapier, and actually he's gonna his, this guy Machen Matt Matthews, he's an automation expert in Mailbox Power, and he's he's helps a lot of people. So I would say you know send. Message the chat if you need help, but also um, maybe reach out to Machen. He's very in the nice. group. Yeah. <laughs> what was He's his name? Facebook group. Machen Matthews. M A C H E N. Okay. You can look for him in the. Are you in a a, a customer an affiliate? He's in both um, groups. I'm. I He's in both in, groups. I think. I'm are in you the, in the okay. Facebook? I, I'm in, in the their Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. What's his name again? Machen M A C H E N Matthews. Yeah, he's actually going to be doing some videos um, to help all of us understand automations better. I would have to say that, like, that's the one area that I don't know that well, you know, but everything else, um, I'm, I'm pretty seasoned in. <laughs> I found him. Okay, good. Yep. Yeah, he's amazing. So, 
can ask. I'm going to uh, stop the recording. Let's see. Uh, but you can still ask some questions. Hold on. Let me stop the share for a minute. So we're we're hoping on contacts that perhaps.